Oh. Uh. Hey, Steve, any interesting games come out recently? Oh, yeah, freaking Cyberpunk came out. I completely forgot. I want to take a look at that. Let's see what's going on. Man, holy crap, this is awesome. Man, can't wait to try this. I've been waiting for freaking like nine months to play this, man. They keep delaying it. All right, let's see. Well, let's see what's going on. I want to make my character and see what happens. All right, I'm going to get myself a beard thing. Cyberware. I mean, why the heck not? Uh, no makeup. We don't need none of that crap. Tattoos, body scars, genitals. What the heck is that about? Holy crap, what the freak did I just get myself into? I can't play this game. What's going on guys, Max here, and welcome back to another video. I'm gonna cut straight to the chase here. I know a lot of you guys are excited to finally play and even stream Cyberpunk 2077. But if you're anything like me and you decided to stream the game day one right at launch, you obviously had no idea which settings were the best to stabilize the game and get the best performance possible for not only yourself, but also your stream. So after I got done streaming, I decided, you know what be a great video idea? Why don't I take the time today to test the best settings for cyberpunk and release it totally not trying to take advantage of all the hype what do you guys think that'd be a good idea wouldn't it you know what's another great idea why don't i shamelessly plug my stream now i stream over on twitch we talk about stuff like this all the time on my stream as well as i play games and we do this weird ranking thing where the stream watches me rank my favorite foods and restaurants and things and then they get mad at me because they don't like the same things that i do so it's a great relationship so feel free to come by all right so seriously though back to cyberpunk so i was really surprised when i got on stream i knew i was gonna have issues when i ran cyberpunk but i didn't realize i was gonna have to run it at the lowest settings have my stream at 900p and still struggle to run the game so just getting right into it the first thing you need to make sure is that you have the most recent nvidia drivers because that gives you the cyberpunk drivers that you need as well as make sure that your obs is updated if you haven't updated it fairly recently and just check for any miscellaneous windows updates as well just to make sure you cover all your bases so the next thing i want to address is the hardware that i have in my pc that i use for all of these tests and i'm still using a 20 series graphics card because i'm unable to get the 30 series cards like everybody else in the world so for the test, I had to use my 2070 Super as well as my CPU is the 3900X. In total, I did six tests and how I structured them is as follows. With the OBS settings, what I did for the first three tests is I had them all set to 900p60 as well as I used all the in-bank settings that you're seeing on screen right now. I also ended up switching between display capture and game capture just to prove a point. One thing to note here before I go into the in-game settings is that I used MSI Afterburner to do all of these tests. So you can look up in the top left corner to see the stats as I'm going along here. But the main things to keep in mind are the CPU usage, the GPU usage, as well as the frame rate. Look at all the different options I have there for the frames because it really is pretty crazy how things will change even with the same test just from switching different options around in game so what you're going to see here in this first test is i ended up locking the fps to 60 fps and then i put the graphical settings to the lowest quality based on the default selection as well as the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see what the game runs like with display capture activated and then you're going to see what it runs like with game capture activated and then lastly what you're going to see is the game run with dlss off and then you're going to see what it looks like when it's on The second test has the same structure as the first one. The only difference is that we switched the settings to medium. So definitely pay attention to the difference in terms of frames with display capture on and then game capture on and then vice versa with DLSS off and then on. And the last one is a rinse and repeat, same settings. I really couldn't push my graphics card past high, so I'm gonna do the same exact things of turning things on and off, so just pay attention to all the numbers here. So 
after these first sets of tests, the most interesting thing to really take away from this is the fact that having DLSS quality activated really makes a ginormous difference in terms of GPU usage as well as overall stability of your stream and the game while you're playing it. The other thing to note that's really crazy is just look how much different the game runs with display capture and game capture. I've never seen this dramatic of a difference personally when I'm running games. Like literally display capture sometimes is on par with game capture, maybe a little bit of a difference, but this game is really dramatic in how well it performs with game capture. So for the last set of tests, I've already proved my point with the game capture, so we're gonna leave that activated, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump up the resolution to 1080p and see how things do there. So once again, for test four, we ended up leaving the settings on low and then leaving the FPS locked at 60, and then you're gonna see the DLSS off and then you're gonna see it on. Test five, rinse and repeat. We're gonna set it to medium this time and then we're gonna do the same thing, DLSS off and then on. And lastly, we're gonna run the game on high and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn DLSS off and then on and then that'll be pretty much the end of that test right there. Okay, so with all of that testing out of the way, what settings am I gonna be using to stream Cyberpunk next time? Wait a minute, stop, stop, stop. Future Max here with an update on my stream settings because I had some stream settings that I went into my last stream with and based on some things that happened, I had to redo them and do some additional testing. So one of the things I didn't mention in the beginning of the video was the fact that I've been using OBS in admin mode. So most people right now are probably using OBS in admin mode because that's the way that a lot of people have been using it for a while because game mode didn't work for Windows as well as Windows didn't have any features to help prioritize OBS over the game you were playing. What I have discovered thanks to Epos Vox's more recent video talking about these Windows settings updates is the fact that we should be all, all using Windows in game mode first of all because there's no need to have it off anymore because it's not making OBS not a priority if that makes sense. One other thing in the Windows settings, you wanna go over to your graphic settings and you wanna set the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting to on and that's gonna allow you with both settings, the game mode and this setting, to be able to run OBS normally without having to have it in admin mode. With all that being said, we're gonna go over all of my settings that I'm currently using to stream Cyberpunk because I feel like, yeah, it's not perfect, but at the same time, it allows me to play the majority of the game without lagging or stuttering. With the OBS settings, I'm gonna be using the NVENC encoder settings that you're gonna see on screen right now. I'm gonna be using a 900p resolution. 60 frames per second, as well as I'm gonna be using game capture over display capture. For the in-game settings, I'm gonna be using a mix of the medium default settings, as well as some of my own customized settings on this. And the things I've really focused on downgrading the most are things like shadows and clouds and all those things, because those sims seem to add a lot of load that you don't need on your GPU, as well as like lens flare, I took that off as well. The biggest thing here is to make sure you have DLSS on. So if you wanna use quality, performance, or balance, it doesn't really matter. I use quality because I tend to notice a little bit of a quality difference and my computer can run it pretty well. But if I ever run into some issues, I'll switch to performance and balance based on what's going on. Some other notable settings are, make sure you leave the textures on high, you activate these before you go into the game and the, and the main menu. And then also leave your FPS locked at 60. I'm, you can try 120 if you have a 30 series card if you'd like, but for me, if I went over 60, I saw huge performance drops. One of the things you may have noticed about my settings in the footage you saw is the fact that my GPU usage doesn't really go past 
and it goes as low as 60% in a lot of cases. Yes, I understand that that's a ton of headroom for your GPU. You could be using those resources to add some more quality settings or mess with some of the shadows or any of those things. But the thing about this game that's weird is the fact that there are large GPU spikes at random times during the game and you can't really predict them. So you want to give yourself as much headroom as possible to be able to handle these situations when they come up. The biggest example of this was last night while I was streaming because I was playing the game and I was in an area that was so taxing on my GPU. I lowered everything to low, but I was still lagging and stuttering all over the place and it made for a bad experience in my stream, which was very annoying. So yes, just to reemphasize it one more time, make sure that you're giving your GPU as much headroom because this is a big deal for this game in particular because there's so many random things that can happen that will overload your GPU. Anyway, future max out. Back to you regular Max. So the biggest thing to understand here is obviously I have a 2070, you may have a 2060 or, or you may have a 3090. So you're obviously gonna have different results and be able to do different things. So make sure you use my settings that I just gave you as a base and try streaming with those and then either ramp it up or ramp it down based on how well everything is running. Let me know down in the comments which settings you found the most useful. If you have been using display capture like me the majority of the time, are you now gonna run game capture now that you've seen how much of a difference it makes in Cyberpunk? Also, I'd love to know how you're feeling about Cyberpunk. I'm honestly loving the game so far. I'm loving streaming it. It's been a lot of fun. My chat's enjoying it. So if you're definitely wanting to see my live reactions to how I'm feeling about Cyberpunk play by play, definitely come check me out on Twitch because I'm playing the heck out of that game right now. But all right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. And as always, we'll see you next time. Whoa! What is this guy doing? He's just, what the? No, I just ran somebody over. No. Why does this stuff always happen to me when I start playing a game like this? I'm out of here. No, 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 don't shoot me. I didn't do it on purpose. He just was sitting there in the chair. He was just 